Can you hear me? Good. Can 100 million developers use Kubernetes? Yes, if we wait long enough is the short answer. I'm going to maybe suggest how, but also this is really an echo of Brendan's talk about democratizing applications. Because I believe the same thing. I believe our real job is to democratize applications in the cloud. So think ahead. Think about 10 years from now, 2027. Some things will have changed. America will have a new president. I'm voting for this guy. <laughs> Who are we doing this for? Who are the tribes of the future? Developers. Who are the developers of the future? I believe that in the future, if you can merge a pull request, then you are a developer. Today, GitHub recently announced that 100 millionth pull request has merged. So let's look at GitHub. Today, GitHub has 24 million users, 15% growth, which is reasonable, will take us to 100 million developers on GitHub in 2027. So if we can make it easy enough for everybody on GitHub to do this, Kubernetes could be democratized. So what's happening now that shows us what things are going to look like in 2027? Meet, meet this Finian. He's 17 years old. He's Irish. He's just moved to New Zealand. And he wrote this lovely application a few weeks ago called Colorize Bot. Colorize Bot is a Twitter bot which you can send black and white pictures to. And using machine learning, it will colorize them for you. Standard libraries and standard components assembled into a larger whole. And here's a lovely tweet from Chloe uh, noticing this with a picture. And here's an example. Now, for those of you who are old enough, you might remember Tom Baker as Doctor Who back in the 70s. And this is his partner, Lala Ward. And that was 40 years ago. Just think, we're only talking about 10 years from now. So what does this colorized bot do? In parallel, it will colorize a black and white image frame by frame and reassemble it, and it can also do video. And this was a bit of a hit. It got into the news, which is great. Finian was in the news, 17 years old, in the, the Next Web, in Vice, and even in Le Monde in France. There he is again. One of the tools that made it possible for him to do this, one of these standard components, was OpenFAS. Functions as a service, this is a really cool library for doing functions as a service anywhere. Runs on Kubernetes, it also runs on Swarm, actually. And here's the author on the left, Alex. He's at the conference, if you want to meet him, talking with Finian and Finian's friend, Ollie, who helped build the project as a machine learning, another 17-year-old. At DockerCon, this was a hit. Everybody thought the Colorized Bot was wonderful. OpenFAS and Ollie were amazing people. We're running it on GKE. This is actually running on Google Cloud Platform. If you send a black and white picture now to that Twitter bot, GKE, Weave Cloud, and OpenFAS, I work on Weave, we'll process it for you. And it's, it's cloud native everywhere. There's NATs, we've got some Minio, all these portable open source technologies that were assembled by Finian and Alex in a very short time. And here's what you would see if you're looking at our management tool for it, just a little ad there. And all this is possible because of something called componentization. Breaking things up into bits that can be reused. As Brendan said earlier, libraries that you can choose whether to use them or not, you assemble them how you want. A concept that was invented by an American scientist, Herb Simon, not too long ago, and became very popular due to the needs of industry. Here's a photograph of a Chinese skyscraper which was built in 19 days, 57 stories high, imagine that, because of componentization. And here's a counterexample. This gentleman in the UK, Thomas, did something called the Toaster Project. He decided to build his own toaster without buying any parts and making everything from scratch. So he made his own iron foundry to smelt his own iron to make a toaster by hand. And the picture on the front is actually what the, end, the toaster ended up looking like. He did do it. It took him months and months and months and months and months. And he spent thousands of pounds, or dollars if you prefer, and he plugged it in and it blew up. So who wants to build a toaster? So 
this is again echoing what Brendan said. When the components can be combined, then higher order systems, applications in other words, emerge at rapid and accelerating speed. This is what Herb Simon posited. And here's a great example. I heard Adrian talking earlier. Platforms are about speed. If you're moving slowly, you're not enjoying platforms and componentization. So here are some little takeaways about that. More higher order systems, very quickly, things like open FAS. Metaparticle is an example of a higher order system. Lower barriers to entry, because you're democratizing the tool set. And co-evolution of practices, programming models, and ways of working. Or, for sure, tribes got a tribe. Each one of these changes brings out a new tribe. So going back to who is this for, let's just remind ourselves who we're building for in 2027. Finian, he's 17 today. Some of you know Lucas from Finland. I can't remember if Lucas is 17 or 18, but he's a teenager. Here's Chloe, who did the tweet. She's at a Docker conference, as you can see. A bunch of guys behind her. She's looking really happy there. And here's an amazing lady called Shilpa Rao, who has a project called Steam Team on the West Coast. It's about creating education, and education is fundamental to how we're going to have 100 million developers using Kubernetes one day, sitting on top of it, building these tools quickly, like Finian, simple assembly of components to make applications. GitHub recently teamed up with Black Girls Code, another example. In the UK, this is Acorn working with Jewish kids in London. And my personal favorite, STEMETS, which is about young girls all the way up to teenagers becoming educated in how to build programs. And here's Doctor Who, if you haven't seen her yet. So this is what they're going to grow up to become in 2027. So think about that, and think about who you're building for. You've just seen their faces. Thank you.